Hey fam, what's up? It's April here. Today I'm going to share with you my Contemporaryathon TBR. Now I left this a little bit late considering the Contemporaryathon starts tomorrow for me. But that's okay, I'm still really excited to participate. So basically it's a week-long readathon created by Ma Bay, Chelsea Dolling Reads and Julie from Pages and Pens. And this year there's an extra host, host Natasha from My Reading is Odd. The three of them are just amazing, beautiful, wildly coloured haired ladies that I love so much. Basically there are seven challenges and the aim is to read contemporary books all week. So it starts from the 12th of February and goes until midnight on the 18th of February. So let's just get into the challenges and what I plan to read for them. So the first challenge is to read your most recently acquired contemporary book. And for me, I purchased two Tessa Dare novellas that are part of the Spindle Cove series. I purchased The Beauty and the Blacksmith and Lord Dashwood missed out and I plan to read both of these novellas during the week because I also plan to read the rest of the series but we're just gonna get into that in a second here. The next challenge is to read a book with pink on the cover and that goes well for me because all three of Tessa Dare's books that I have left to read have pink on the cover. Hooray! So I have three physical books left in the series and two novellas. So I'm planning on reading A Lady by Midnight, Any Duchess Will Do, and Do You Want to Start a Scandal? And these are amazing, like, modern feminist historical romance. They are so great. The next challenge is to read a hyped book. For this challenge, I'm going to be rereading a book, and it is actually Chelsea's number one recommendation, and that is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I read this for the first time last year and fell in love with it, but I have yet to reread it, and this is the perfect time because I have a feeling a lot of other people participating in this readathon are going to be reading The Hating Game. The next challenge is to read a diverse contemporary. For me, I'm going to go with Brain on Fire, by Susanna Callahan. This is diverse in terms of mental illness. This is a non-fiction book all about Susanna's journey when she wakes up one day and she's unable to move or speak and it turns out there's something wrong with her brain but doctors are baffled and they can't figure out what it is. So it's basically a month of her life where she was labeled as psychotic and they were trying to figure out what happened. I actually got this from Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads when I visited her in America. She was getting rid of this book and I snatched it up real quick. So I'm really excited to finally read this. I've heard amazing things. Challenge number five is to read a dark slash taboo contemporary. For this, I'm actually going to go with Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I have been meaning to read this for ages and Lucy over at, what is her channel name? Oh my gosh, what is her channel name? She's like really huge over in the UK and she is actually working with the Bronte Society in doing a Bronte book club this year. So Wuthering Heights is actually the book for January and February. So I really want to get to it because I haven't read it before and you guys know I love the Brontes. So I really want to get to this one and I also have the audiobook borrowed out from the library, which is perfect. I'm going to remember her channel name in like two seconds and be like, oh, you idiot April. But anyway, I will leave her channel up in the corner for you. The sixth challenge is to read a contemporary graphic novel. For this, I've got another reread, but it's been a while since I read it. And that is Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. This is one of my favorite graphic novels. It's kind of like a graphic memoir. It is a collection of stories of Ali Brosh's life illustrated hilariously and the stories literally make me laugh out loud and it's really rare for me to laugh out loud while I'm reading a book. So yeah, um, this also does deal with some serious topics. Ali does suffer from depression and anxiety I'm pretty sure. I can't really remember, it's been ages since I read this, but I remember there was one story in here that described depression and anxiety so perfectly. It was just amazing. So yes, hilarious and insightful and wonderful. I can't wait to reread this one. And the last challenge is to read a book that was recommended to you. Now, I could go with a number of these books, but I'm just going to double up with The Hating Game because that is Chelsea's number one recommendation for this readathon. So that is my TBR. Let me know if you guys are joining in and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Goodbye!